Okay, let's talk about setting keyboard shortcuts. Or in my case, uh, fixing a keyboard shortcut. So I've been wanting um, select adjacent faces uh, for a while. And there's been a keyboard shortcut for it. But it doesn't work on my keyboard because uh, keyboards in different regions don't work the same you know, so a control shift plus might not work for me, which is the command I'm looking for. So control shift plus, it doesn't do anything for me. So I have to change that keyboard shortcut. So now, if you go to the command line by hitting F, this gives you all the commands that you can use in plasticity. And we go down to, or I'll just select... Let's see. Let's see if I can find him. Where do you go? Oh, here he is. Okay, let me remove him. So now I can do if I right-click, assign shortcut, and then push a key that I want, and which in my case will be equal, which is also plus shift, and then it'll be a plus. But it's perfect for me. So now if I escape out of that come down here, select my face that I want to start, and then plus or equal. And there you go. Now I can select that sucker. Super easy now. Where as before, I had to like drag select and all that. So quick, easy way to change your shortcuts. Now I want to show you a slight problem you might run into when you assign keys. So the uh, you guys remember the pipe command by hitting P, right? Okay. Let's exit out of that. Let's change let's change the shortcut or I'll show you what's going to happen. So we'll open up our command line again and we'll just uh, assign corner rectangle. Oops. Right click, assign shortcut, and we're going to give it the same the same keyboard shortcut and as you can see if it's highlighted a different color that means a user has assigned it okay that you you assigned it otherwise it'll stay this neutral color so now let's go back out here and click on this and hit P for pipe it doesn't work though it does bring up this here like that but let's go take a look real fast. See, pipe is still in there. So it's going to be a little confused. Yeah, see, so your shortcut overrides that shortcut. So just remember that in the future. So, but if we want, if we right click, go down to remove, you can remove it. And then go back out here, pipe. And then it'll do the pipe command for you. So just uh, remember, uh, if you assign a shortcut, make sure you're not overriding a previous shortcut. So you'll start running into problems. But that's basically assigning keyboard shortcuts.